can't punish anyone I like. Talos, wake up. So annoying. Battle, I'd love to. Nervous. Don't worry, we've got Talos and Rapunzel on our side. Everything is going to work out. Is... is everything going to be okay? Of course. Don't worry about Chime. She wouldn't give this place the dignity of her death. I know, but... Thoroughly, no auspicious tidings will come out of needless worry. What can I do to get rid of this feeling? Swallow it up. Huh? Did someone say swallow? Do you guys have food? In order to proclaim oneself as courageous, one's comportment must be so. Uh, uh, are all of you pilgrims? Indeed, it would seem that is our most common appellation. Thank you for helping. I... <laughs> I really thought it was the end. No need to thank us. We are merely doing our part, assisting our fellow comrades in arms up on the surface. How long has it been since the treatment started? About an hour. I see. Do not fret. It takes more than decapitation to take down a Nike. At least not straight away. Are you two attempting to cheer us up? That's right. I have felt a most peculiar discomfort for a while now. You have become quite mature, Marion. I was aware of your accelerated development, but thou have come so far in so little time. She's still in her adolescence. Nay, tis still too fast. Regardless, she's a growing girl and needs her sustenance. Here, take these rice cake balls. Thank you so much! I know how much you love these. I feel like this conversation has taken a strange left turn. Crown. Yes? What's your next move? Protect this place. We can hold them off, but that's not the main issue. The problem is that our forces are limited, and theirs are infinite. At some point, we'll reach our limit. We must do something to get them all in one fell swoop. Even with our acumen, a war of attrition will only signal our doom. Our best bet is to strike out at the leader. Dost thou propose that we go outside the safety of the castle walls and leave the kingdom behind undefended? I must admit, I have an affinity for such skirmishes. Tis most thrilling to find oneself as the underdog in a firefight. If this place were a deserted wasteland, perhaps I would have proceeded with such a stratagem. The survival of the seed is paramount. We cannot abandon this place. <sighs> is it ready? No, we need to collect for another year. Then using it would seem out of the question. So what are our options? <sighs> we wait for Chime. Chime is the brains behind the operation. She's sure to have a plan that will turn the situation around. Very well. I will stand guard. If you could prepare my meal separately, it would be appreciated. Don't worry. We'll make it so. I shall go outside for some fresh air. Perhaps I shall find some errant targets to slash. As for you, citizens of the kingdom, take this time to recuperate. Kilo. Yes? They were able to come inside the castle by using a secret passage. It should be just wide enough for Talos to squeeze through. Hmm. Just saying. That path, is it always open? Yes, it is. <sighs> I can't get Chime's image out of my mind. Of what happened to her. To be honest, I'm terrified. 
And yet, I couldn't possibly leave all of you behind. Kilo. I don't know how much help I'll be, but uh, I'll do all that I possibly can. Excellent. That's the answer I wanted to hear. It's all done. How did it go? We successfully sutured her neural sensor and power source. There should not be any remaining trauma, and her functions are all operating normally. She has not woken up yet. And it seems that it will take some time until the nymph takes over. But she should wake up soon. You say that, but it seems to be taking longer than it should. She can't give us an exact number. She's just saying that it's likely to happen sooner rather than later. I, I realize that, but it still seems so far away. I want it to happen right now. I know. Me too. Where did the others go? They went to stand guard. I figured as much. Neither of them have any intention of resting. That's what makes them so remarkable. Hm? Marion, was it? Yes. My goodness! When did you grow up so fast? <laughs> Just happened, I guess. Hmm. <sighs> Something I wanted to show you when you were old enough. It may come as a shock to you, so brace yourself before watching it. Uh, okay. Talos, can you scan what that is? I cannot provide an answer, as I prefer to respect the privacy of others. What could it be? Everyone, take a rest for a moment. I will stand guard as well. This reminds me of a magazine I once read where someone was standing guard. And then another person came, at full attention. <laughs> How glorious! Are any of these pilgrims normal? Nice to play around with them for a bit longer. This upcoming skirmish seems to be most onerous. The odds certainly aren't in our favor. How about slicing a path through them and taking out the heretic in one go? It is a feasible course of action. But the problem lies within what occurs after. Our foe will utilize the swarm of raptures in the vicinity to revive itself. Not only that, but we gave what little Vopouse we had left to the commander. We have no way of annihilating the heretic entirely. How about notifying him? He has his hands full with the Ark. Things are not going well over there. I tried contacting him a couple times, but was unable to reach him. Perhaps due to the bad connection. How about Eden? Hard to say. I am unsure whether Snow White would acquiesce to such a plan. I wouldn't. You see? Hmm. First off, let's get this place secure and assess the situation. Very well. It would be nice if the other side didn't take the initiative. Let's go. Are we to attack the High Castle? Yes. I thought you wanted to play a little longer. I did. Until I got trampled by that one meat sack. It must have made quite the impression on you. You wanna know something? 
I've never truly felt like wanting to kill someone. Until now. From here on out, I'm going to be fully true to my instincts. It's hard to find someone as true to their instincts as you. So then, are you coming with me or not? Is there a reason why you want to go together? I want to ensure that we thoroughly grind them into dust. I want to show them exactly how helpless they are, and watch them tremble with fear as they die. It won't be easy. The three pilgrims that just joined them will make formidable adversaries. Be that as it may, they're still more human than anything else. Very well. I will go with you. However, keep your hands off, Marion. <laughs> Are you trying to give me orders? No. Merely a suggestion. Fine. That shouldn't be too difficult. Then, let's move. <sighs> Scarlet, Rapunzel, are they coming? I'll go get ready. I feel something vibrating. Is someone's stomach growling? The raptures are coming. Uh, already? Talos? Is Chime safe? Yes. She is currently recovering in a place which has been designated the safest in the kingdom. However, should the kingdom be overrun, no place within it will be safe. You didn't have to say that. Let's go and intercept them. All right. They're coming. Their numbers are most prodigious. They just keep coming and coming. This is why recapturing the surface is impossible. Their forces are infinite. No, nothing is truly infinite. Everything has an end. I agree. Let's route them. They are as candles, the better burnt out. Behold my ultimate blade. Hmm, standing by.
cannot be forged without fire? Hmm, most peculiar indeed. Yes, I've definitely become stronger. Behold my ultimate blade. I'm ready. Return to where you belong. Kila, preparation complete. Kila, preparation. Let's go, Talos. Roger. You have become stronger, Kila. I am proud of you. It's not enough. I need to be honest. Behold my ultimate blade. I'm ready. Return to where you belong. Kiva. Let's go, Talos. Roger. The owners behold my ultimate blip. <sighs> it's a bit of a shame. This little hovel has its own modest charms. I almost feel bad for what I'm about to do to it. The heretic and the special individual have joined the battle. They're arriving at the same time? Chatterbox. It's been a while. It has. <laughs> Not long enough. <laughs> Impudent as ever, I see. I haven't forgotten what you did to me back there. I hope you never do. I'll kill you for that. I'd like to see you try. I'm ready. Return to where you belong. Hmm. My blade shall not be made light of. Let's go, Talos! The oh, behold my ultimate blade. I'm ready. Return to where you belong. Kila. Let's go, Talos. Roger. We own behold my ultimate blade. What? She caught it? Nano machines are dispersing from the heretic's body. It appears to be entering some sort of transformation. I hope you enjoyed that feeling of victory, brief as it was. 
Because now, despair is all that awaits you. This wall has stood in my way long enough. Time for it to fall. <laughs> she used the shockwave produced from her own transformation to blast a hole through the wall. How remarkable. Chatterbox, get up. We've breached the walls. Very good. No! They've entered the kingdom! Nothing. There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Didn't I tell you? I can come in whenever I want to. Raptures are pouring in through the opening in the wall! Snow White, Rapunzel, head over there and hold them off. Fix the wall while you're at it. I'll take on that heretic. Can you handle it alone? As long as I can make it a one-on-one -on -one fight, I'll be fine. I have never suffered defeat in a one-on-one -on -one duel. Wait. I remember thee. You wish to face me alone? You overestimate yourself. No more than thou overestimated thyself by entering this kingdom alone. I have confidence in my abilities. As do I. I'll make quick work of you. I have unfinished business with the king of this pathetic kingdom. <sighs> Marion, Kilo, we'll take this side. Roger! <sighs> Do you need the success rate? N no! If the success rate was high, you would have already told me. That is correct. The probability is decidedly low. Marion. <laughs> Shall we talk? How did you know my name? Enough. Don't poison her mind with your venomous words. Leave this place at once. You must be the king. That's right. I am Crown, the ruler of this kingdom. So, if you fall, so does the entire kingdom. No, another king will succeed me. <laughs> You're really into this whole kingdom fantasy, aren't you? Fine. Perhaps we should continue this conversation somewhere more private. Somewhere where we won't be distracted by outside forces. Let's. That way, you won't disturb my kingdom any longer with your endless prattling.
Lily Ann. Don't call me that! I don't want my name passing through your lips! You can't be here with them. <laughs> Remember who you are. What you're supposed to be. Where you came from. And what you live for. Get away from her! We are in the middle of an important conversation. Damage sustained to left side. With just one strike? My power levels are insufficient, therefore the nanocoding has not been activated. As a result, I am susceptible to attacks from this individual, so please exercise caution. <laughs> what happens if it hits the cockpit? I will shut down, and you will die. <sighs> Don't tell me you're out for the count. One hit and you're throwing in the towel. What a coward you are. Your own body is made of steel. Yet you hide inside another body of steel. You son of a... What? Do you disapprove of me speaking the truth? <sighs> Don't... you... speak to her that way! Such power! Yes, it has begun. You talk too much. Very well. These things take time. No need to hurry. Hmm. Tell me, do you know what Marion is? I certainly do. Then why do you keep her around you? Because she is one of us. She is a subject of this kingdom. And a king never discriminates against their own people. <laughs> How admirable. Thank you. Our business here is done. All that is left to do is wait. Marion. My head... it hurts. Talos, check on Marion. Unable to scan. Cause unknown. Oh, for crying out loud, is there anything you can do? I specialize in providing combat and survival-based support. That was a rhetorical question. Kilo, take Marion to a safe place. Where is that? Just do whatever you can to protect her. Then she'll be safe. But you saw, I can't do anything. I believe in you. <laughs> Command her. What am I supposed to do? I'm useless. Holding hands can help soothe and stabilize the mind. <sighs> Hang in there, Marion. <laughs> you told me that I have to hang in there. So I'm going to do my best, and so will you. Good. Let's go. Carlos, initiate self repair Be more efficient. Oh. 
would have been nice to play around with them for a bit longer. Thy weapon is akin to a whip rather than a sword. Attaching blades to one's tail? It is a perversion, if nothing else. And what of you, swinging a sword around like a primitive ape? If it is as primitive as you say, then pray tell. Why art thou unable to so much as scratch me? <sighs> Shall I kick it up a notch? Once I get into the swing of things, I can surpass the speed of sound. All you have. I grow weary of this. What did you say? Thou relies solely on brute strength, with no consideration given to tactics, analysis, or thought. To call such a thing swordsmanship would be a dishonor to true wielders of the sword. You can wield your blade with all the speed in the universe. But if it is wielded without intelligence, it is all for naught. Hmm. No matter. I can make another one. Tell me, where is the joy in living this way? Carrying the burden of immortality? Satisfied with the power you possess and wielding it indiscriminately without any forethought. Where is the enjoyment to be found in that? I derive plenty of joy in slicing the throats of people like you, who do nothing but preach. Is that all there is? Are there no more sides to you than this? This is it. And you're finished. It would seem all you excel at is attacking your enemy behind their back. You also talk too much. Oh, how I've been longing to run into you again. I've never encountered such a worthy foe. Fine, enough talk. Shall I bring this little game to a close? Are you thinking of transforming again? Oh no. I find a little joy in transforming. Personally, I think it makes me unbecoming. What? What are you vomiting up? Huh? <gasps> I can emit high concentrations of alva particles. Do you know what effects these particles have? They disrupt communication. Usually, this is restricted to cutting off electrical signals. But in high enough concentrations, they can cause the human imposters to go haywire. Nice try. Doth thou truly believe we'll fall for that trick? You say that. But your face tells me you're terrified. <coughs> hmm? <coughs> Wait. Don't tell me. Poisonous to you. <sighs> I see.
Crazy human imposters come in many different forms. I wonder what you gave up in exchange for all the particles having a malevolent effect on you. Perfection is boring, especially for a king. <laughs> Quite right. All right. Now things are getting interesting. Yeah. I just thought of a good idea. So let's call it a day. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. <sighs> Can you help Snow White and Rapunzel? Okay, you stay here. We've taken some materials from other parts to patch up the hole in the castle wall. But it won't last long. <sighs> well done. But what about the other sites? They really can come in whenever they want to. Uh, to put it frankly, this place is little more than an old dilapidated building. These walls may be thick and act as a decent preliminary defense, but when it comes down to it, they don't stand a chance against a rapture horde. What if this many attack the next time? We might be in for a hard time. We will do as we've done before and stand our ground. Very well, I believe you will. How's Marion? She is feeling a bit better and sleeping. Rapunzel is with her. She understandably is feeling quite stressed and fatigued. Hmm. We have to prepare for the next attack. Check the castle walls and the weapons. The next wave is more likely to come sooner rather than late. Uh, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. The Elva particles are being emitted from outside the castle walls. Perchance she intends to poison you slowly. It is as I thought. She has a mind most perverse. Everyone! Chime is awake! <gasps> <laughs> I don't need any cover. Do what you have to do. They're awfully hard to operate. Chalk up another victory for the commander. Mm. to suture the wound, but we weren't quite able to repair her ears. We replicated them as closely as we could. It's okay. Thank you. And you, Talos. You're welcome. Chime! I, I'm so relieved that you're alive. I heard you and Talos went through hell for me. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be alive. I knew bringing you into the fold would be a good decision. <gasps> huh? Chime. Your Highness. Um. <sighs> um. I'm sorry, everyone. But could you excuse us? Of course. Chime. Tell me what he wanted to tell me. Uh, uh, your Highness, those bastards. They, they said that if I divulged information about the kingdom to them, they'd let me live. <sighs> they treated me like I was nothing. They said leaving me alive wouldn't pose any threat to them. 
that not even 20 of me could put a dent in them. I've never felt such hatred for someone. I was so angry I could have torn them apart. I wanted to give them a piece of my mind. But the worst part is I couldn't do that. Damn it! Hmm. Chime. Show them. Show them that they're wrong about you. And... Make them regret sparing you. Show them... Just how fearsome this kingdom's royal aid can be. Make them realize how foolish they were to have granted you mercy. <sighs> yes, I will. I will have my revenge. I'll make them rue the day they look down on me. I know you will. And at the moment of your vengeance, I will be there beside you. No one insults our kingdom and gets away with it. You're amazing, Talos. I can't believe you were able to reattach a severed head. Is there anything you can't do? And then you have me. I fold it almost immediately. You're the one who designed me. It's thanks to you that I possess these capabilities. But you were the one who actually accomplished the feat, not me. <sighs> Talos, do you want to stay here? Chime can pilot you. I, I think that might be better. If you stay with me, you won't be able to reach your full potential. With me? You'll be doomed to an undistinguished life of drudgery before inevitably being sent to the scrap heap. Staying here might be in your best interest. You are my only pilot. It's possible to change that. It might be somewhat complicated, but far from impossible. It is possible, but I do not wish to do it. Why not? Because I do not wish for it. And if I order you to? Hmm. Processing. Hey! Processing. <sighs> I doubt I need to point this out, but we'll never win this fight through attrition. We need a way to defeat the enemy commander or wipe out the raptures en masse. However, with our current forces, that might pose a challenge. Therefore, we will remain in this location. We will? Yes. As some of you may know, this place used to be a tourist attraction in the past. It was constructed on an artificial island. Over the past hundred years, however, all the detritus has piled up and formed a sort of airsats landmass. This newly formed ground which connects us to the mainland is, however, quite unstable. When I infiltrated the enemy ranks to observe their movements, I could feel it. The ground sunk beneath my feet and had a lot of give to it. If that many raptures were to congregate in one space, the ground would be unable to sustain their weight. So our plan is as follows. We will cause all the ground in front of the walls to collapse, save for that directly in front of the main gate. This way, the only pathway inside the kingdom will be through the main gate, allowing us to concentrate all our efforts on one singular location. We will then face the enemy head on. You mean we're going to engage with those things directly? That's right. But they have airborne units, and not to mention how the heretic and the special individual can leap over walls entirely. Even if we do reduce the entrance to just the main gate, our defenses are hardly airtight. Hmm. They underestimate us. At the moment, their main desire is to toy with us. If we bring the fight to them and take them head on, they'll be forced to take us seriously. Their overwhelming desire would then be to crush us, to obliterate us for not playing our part as the weakling. <sighs> All right. Any questions? What if... 
We can't withstand a direct confrontation. That's not possible. We will never lose. Of course. Tis but a foregone conclusion. In fact, the situation is rather in our favor. Huh. Kilo. Yes? You and Talos work together to produce some explosives. We'll be installing them along the entire run of the castle wall, so we'll need quite a few. Understood. I'll provide the gunpowder. There's still plenty left. Okay, thank you. Let's move quickly. We don't have much time. Your Highness isn't feeling well, and I'm also worried about Marion. Okay. <sighs> um, before we spring into action, could I talk to Crown for a moment? There? I... I knew that. Engaging in combat. These are awfully hard to operate. Reload. There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Made up your mind? Crown? I'm sorry, but I'm going back. Is that so? I understand. The secret passage is still safe. You can leave through there. You aren't asking why? If I did ask, would you tell me? <sighs> In the end, what you need is Talos's abilities, not mine. I'll leave Talos behind. Chime and I are similarly built, so she should be able to commandeer Talos. That will make her quite happy. I know looking after someone as useless as me must not have been easy. But... I tried my best, you know? I really did. It just didn't work out. You're all such nice people, too, which made it so much harder. I was nothing but a burden, and yet you all still did everything you could to care for me. I... I don't think I can endure it. I want to contribute. I want to be able to help. You already were, Kilo. That's not true. You can't say that's true. Not without Talos. I'm no help to anyone. No one could ever possibly need me. There's no place for me in this world. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Of course there is. What? There is someone who needs you. There is a place which needs you. 
Where? Who? Hmm. Talos should know. Put your hand on Talos's chest and ask. Huh? I'll give you some privacy. <sighs> Why does she want me to ask Talos? I don't understand. <sighs> Talos, Crown mentioned that there's a place where I belong. Do you know anything about this? Processing. I knew it. There's no way such a thing exists. What was I expecting? I'm such a fool. Hmm? What? Why is this... Talos? Yes. Why? Why is it that there isn't a single scratch near the cockpit? Your entire body is riddled with gashes save for that area. Why? Processing. It is because I must protect Kilo. Why? Ah, I see. If the pilot were to perish, you would be unable to perform certain advanced functions. Processing. It is because Kilo created me. What? You gave me my name. I am a TAVH Operator Assisted AI System, yet you bestowed me with a name. When you did that, I was able to define myself. Since that day, I have prioritized Kilo's safety above all else. I established a procedure to protect you no matter what. Just because I gave you a name? In naming me, you gave me life. That is why I protect you. But all I did was give you a name. No, that is not all. I remember everything. You were proud of me. Whenever I performed better than what was expected of me, you shed tears of joy and shared the news with everyone you knew. I still remember your smile when you told me what challenge was up next. It is my greatest pride and joy. But I've always felt so inferior compared to you. That is my fault. I failed to meet your expectations, and that created stress, which led to self-doubt. And for that, I apologize. If my performance had been adequate, you would have continued to be proud of me. I will continue to research and develop further, so that you can be proud of me once again. I don't understand. Why do you care so much what I think about you? I'm nothing compared to you. You are the only pilot for me, Kilo. You take pride in my accomplishments. You are my... Processing. Reason for living. Huh? I will not give up on myself. For your sake. So please, don't give up on yourself. For my sake. If you don't give up on me, I'll do the same for you. In doing that, we can become stronger. Uh. <laughs> Talos! I'm so sorry for all the harsh words I've ever said to you, for treating you so badly. I'm sorry for everything. If I'm being honest, I was full of hubris. I wanted us to accomplish things so that I could brag about them to other people. But it didn't go as I thought. You are superior, and I'm severely lacking in comparison. I felt like I was holding you back, and jealousy began to fester within me. 
That's why I've behaved the way I have. I'm sorry. I understand, Kilo. Going forward, my suggestion is that we help each other become stronger. Yes! Yes! That's exactly what we'll do. All right then. It's a promise. <laughs> Thank you, Talos. Thank you, Kilo. see it now. It's been here all along. A place just for me. A place and a person I need, and need me in return. A place that's all my own. Nice to play around with them for a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> 